Hey everybody, uh, today I want to show you something that's actually been on our Chromebooks for almost a year now, but Google's been tweaking it throughout the year and I think it's finally got to the point where it's uh, able to be recommended for students if they're looking for some sort of digital note-taking app. Uh, this is called Google Cursive. Um, like I said, it's preloaded on all of our Chromebooks and this was Google's take on OneNote. Um, it's a very popular Microsoft app and this is their take. It's loaded onto all Chromebooks. Now, a majority of our devices are touchscreen, so uh, our students could be using this for a note-taking app. All they're going to need is a stylus. It's nothing expensive, like this top pack here for seven bucks that gives you ten. Um, that actually works. I've used those in a crunch when my my uh, stylus is dead. It works. Um, now, it's not going to be as accurate as let's say this one right underneath it because it has a finer tip on it. It's going to be easier for it to write and and read. Um, so if your students are interested, just remember to throw it in the syllabus. It says it's recommended. If you want to take notes, you know, you can't do it. Now, if you want to buy a pack for your students, yeah, go ahead. Um, so if we look at the app, you can see you have the ability, just like a, a very basic note-taking app, which is, I think, what our students need. You have different folders that everything falls under. You could label them any way you want to. Um, and they'll go into the correct folder, all your unfiled notes. It actually has a section for that as well. And you could see them there. It defaults to all your notes and your most recent one is going to be first. So that's nice. Um, these sync across devices. Now they only could be edited on a Chromebook. Okay. If you want to view it on a windows or Mac device, you can view it, but you can't edit. Okay. It's not going to open up. In cursive it's exclusive to the Chromebooks so kind of look at some of the functions within it it's a basic note-taking app you have a pen which can change your color the thickness of the writing you have a highlighter once again you could change the thickness and color of it uh, your eraser now these last three will kind of go over here in a second but in terms of note-taking it's just a note-taking app test note and like I said um, it depends on on the stylus on how accurate it gets uh, so if if some of the other tools that are nice is this first one lets you grab text Now you could copy and paste it which is nice but you could also just grab it and move it somewhere else okay so that's nice for the students the other thing that I, I actually like a lot is um, I'll just write something else here some other text sometimes I forget to leave space so they have this guy here that actually allows you to just throw in a big space and so I could keep writing and this is adjustable so if I only need this much I could then just start writing in here enough room now uh, the other thing that you have here is the ability to insert images so if I go ahead and insert in an image let's pick this guy um, you know, you could move it around just like you would think you'd be able to do. Uh, and then you could, you know, circle and take notes off of it. Not good. Okay. Uh, the other thing that's nice about this, especially since we're on a Chromebook, is you can export this as a PDF. And Chromebooks have a natural ability to edit PDFs, not just using Kami. Um, they could edit PDFs in their regular viewer now. Um, but that's it. it. It's a basic note-taking note -taking app, but I think it's all students need. They could have a folder for each subject um, and just go from there. Like I said, it's been tweaked. They keep working on it. It just keeps getting better. So I do think if you're looking for something for the students to take notes on, since they have that device there, uh, it might be something you want to look at. That's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know.